Hello everyone, welcome to Socket Programming with Python course. I'm Tuya from Hectolider team. Uh, in this first module, we'll learn about TCP communication in detail. Target group for this tutorial series. For those who are network administrators, system administrators, uh, who want to learn networking in detail and depth, and individuals who are in programming field and want to learn about uh, Python sockets, uh, for those who are penetration tester, hackers, uh, who want to create remote exploit and POCs, and uh, any individual who want to learn about networking in detail, uh, this is the RICE tutorial series for you. Okay. Uh, these are the definition from the Wikipedia. So let me skip this. If you have time, please read from Wikipedia. These are the definition I like. So what is uh, socket programming and network sockets? A socket is a combination of IP address and extra number on our computer, which represent application. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, we have an IP address, uh, 192.168.01 and port number 4444. Okay. This port number represents our application. Ooh. Uh, we should call them application number, but I don't know why we call pod number. Anyway, uh, this is uh, this is socket. Okay, socket programming is all about writing software script that allow our computer to talk to another computer. Okay, there are three type of socket: a uh, TCP sockets or stream socket. UDB socket or datagram socket and then third one is raw socket which we are used for packet ignition, packet manipulation and sniffing. So today's scenario, we'll write a uh, socket TCP server which listen on port 4444 and client which connect to the server and they'll send data back and forth. Okay, and then we'll learn how GCP protocol working in a background. So let me open my demo machine. Here is my window machine. I'm using this as a server. So let me check the IP address. Uh, the IP address of the server is 192.168.0. Okay. Here is my Kali Linux. I'm using this as a client machine. Let me quick check the IP address of Kali. Here we go. Uh, the IP address is 192.168.0.2. So let me check the connection status between the server and client. One. Okay, the connection is good. So go back to server. First, open the Python interpreter. Okay. First, uh, we need to input the socket module. So, let me go to the official documentation from the Python website regarding socket module. Here is the official documentation of the socket module in Python. So first we need to use the socket.socket .socket method. Here we go. Uh, it has a three argument. First is the socket family. And uh, AF underscore inet is for IB version 4. And then AF underscore inet sys is for IB version 6 okay and then we have a socket type uh, sock stream for TCP and then sock degrim for UDB and then we have a protocol number is usually 0 and maybe omit that in this case 
Okay, so let me declare the socket method. My socket, my socket is just a variable. Socket dot socket socket dot af underscore inet socket dot subswing okay and then we need to use the bind method so let me check the bind method. Here we go. Uh, the bind address needs uh, address as an argument. The address argument is a tuple data type which contains IP address and pod number. So let me do that. My socket dot bind. And then pod number is 4444. Okay. We are listening from pod number 4444. And then we need to use the listen method to listen the connection. So let me search. It has a backlog as an argument and usually set 5. Okay, let me write my sort of listen. And five, and then we need to use that accept method to accept the incoming conditions. So let's find it. Uh, it's written the a pair of value which contain socket object and IP address and port number of the remote host. Okay. Let me write socket accept method. Client IP pod my socket dot set. Now the server is listening the connection. Let me check with now a statistic utility in window. That minus a n. Here we go. Now the server is listening on pod four 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 four, and the connection state is listening. Uh, let me go back to Kali Linux. Open the Python shell. I'm using Python two point seven for both server and client. Input the socket library. Use the socket method. Socket. Substream for TCP. And then we use the connect method. Let me check the connect method. Uh, connect method need address as an argument. My socket dot connect. This is the address of server. And then server listen port number. Okay, now we are connected to the server. Let me go back and check to the server. There we go. Let me check the client socket object IP oops IP of the remote host and then a port number. Okay, uh, let me check with nested again. Here we go. Now the connection state is established. Okay. So let me receive some data from the client side using receive method. So let me show you receive method. 
it need buffer size as a argument so let's declare a variable to store data my socket of receive 2048 by Okay, now the client is start uh, listening the connection. Go back to server and send the message. So we'll use the client object client.send send method. Let's say no. Knock, knock, knock. I am server. Here we go. Send 29 back. Let's print the receiving data. Here we go. Knock, knock, knock. I am server. This time, let me send data from the client. So let's receive data from the server. Data is equal to and dot receive two zero four eight bar okay now the server is receiving the data so send the data from the client by socket dot send this is from client okay here we go print the data print the data this is from client okay if we want to close the socket we need to use the close method let me show you uh, it doesn't have any special argument so let me close with close method my socket close close from client side okay now the connection is successfully closed so let me write this line of codes as a script file okay so let me create new script file let me copy all the code from here socket method Find the connection. Listen the connection. Accept the connection. And then send the data to the client. receive data from the client print the receiving data and then close the connection okay save the script onto the desktop tcp server.py okay uh, before i run the script let me analyze our background tcp communication with a protocol analyzer called wireshark capture an ethernet pod uh, let's apply a filter on TCP pod it's equal to 4444 here we go let's run the script okay now the script is listening the connection let's go back to client 
Let me open another terminal. Let's talk. Let me create a new file using nano text editor. Nano ECP client.py. And then we need to declare the Python interpreter path for Linux machine using shebang. And then copy the code line by line. server receive data from the server print the receiving data Send data to the server. And then close the connection. Okay. All right. Let me save the file. Change the permission to executable. Okay. And then a render client script. Here we go. We got the data from the server. So let's go back to server. Here we go. We got the data from the client. So let me check in the workshop. Here we go. First, uh, the client sent a sync packet to uh, server port number 444 and then a server reply to client with acknowledge and then a client acknowledge the server sign and then server sent data to the client and then client acknowledge server sending the data and then clients send the data to the server with fin packet and then server acknowledge the client fin okay you can also see what the data is sending knock 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 and server okay so let me go back to my slides here is the method we are used in our script Here's the method we are use in our scripts. Uh, Socket.bind uh, is for uh, bind the IP address and port number. Socket.listen for listen the TCP connection. Uh, Socket.accept which accept the connection. Socket.receive which receive message from uh, the another party. Socket.send which sends message to remote host and socket.close for close the connection. All right, that's all for this module one. Hope you get some knowledge about socket programming. If you have any questions or any comment regarding this video, please send it to my email. Uh, or if you just want to say hello, hi, it is okay, send it to me. And see you in next video, bye.